Hello and welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since I last filmed a vlog all the way back in December last year in Egypt. Four months of lockdown in the UK and I am now traveling again. As you've seen by the title of this video, I am of course in Mexico City. Let me quickly show you the view from my balcony here at a place called Salina, which is in the Centro Historico the old historic center of Mexico City and out of the hostel and onto the streets of Mexico City. This is my first time here in Latin America actually, so I'm very excited. You know, I've traveled to the Middle East, the Far East, Europe and Northern Africa quite a bit, but this is the first time that I've really set foot in the Americas in a Spanish speaking Latin country. So. Here's the point of view shot now of the streets as we walk along, just uh, taking a brief look at what things are like here. So Mexico City is the largest city in the Americas, 20 plus million people, so it's absolutely enormous. And there are so many things to explore that I don't really know where to start, to be honest. El control remoto de tu pantalla. Pasa aquí con nosotros. También preparamos la careta de One thing you'll notice straight away is that a lot of people are wearing masks here. Far more than I've seen anywhere else since the start of the pandemic. You can see just how thriving it is, to be honest. I've been trying to pick up a little bit of Spanish before coming here the last couple of months so I don't make a total idiot of myself. I'm going to be exploring all over the country. I'm planning to go to... It's pretty loud. I'm planning to go to Guadalajara and Monterrey hopefully as well as some of the classic colonial towns Guanajuato, Oaxaca and a few others. You can see the traffic, various kind of uh, cheap goods on sale, I would say. Little signs and stuff. Feels very different to anywhere I've been before, I think, to be honest. There does seem to be a lot going on, but we are smack bang in the city center here. I'm going to be making other videos here in Mexico City, like exploring some of the main attractions, maybe a food video, because everything I've tasted since before today in the last 24 hours has been amazing to be honest and the food is so different here compared to what Mexican food is like in the UK. Man getting his shoes polished right there. So this here is one of the main streets heading towards the center of the Centro Historico. Talking about how I managed to get out of the UK it was because I was able to provide evidence that it was for work reasons. Those from the UK watching this at the moment will know that if you try to leave the country, um, you have to have a valid reason such as work, medical reasons or whatever. And if you try to go on holiday, there's a chance that you'll get a 5,000 pound fine. So with that in mind, you need some kind of evidence. I did get stopped by police twice at Gatwick Airport, but both times, the police were happy with my evidence and so I was able to leave. I felt it was the right time because the number of cases in the UK had dropped dramatically because we've managed to vaccinate so many people and here in Mexico the situation has also improved greatly. So the cases and deaths are pretty low so I felt like it was the right time. I'd been at home for such a while not making any travel content and this is my job so it's something that's essential for me to carry on making a living. There you go. If you do try and leave the UK, if you're watching this in the near future after I've posted this video, then make sure you have a valid reason and do be careful. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whoa, that's so weird. Vale, la 10, 10 pesos, vale. <laughs> I did not expect to see that being sold. We're coming up right now to Zocalo, which is essentially the heart of where the action is and the history of Mexico as a country. It's where the Aztecs originally built the city center of Tenochtitlan and where the Spanish conquistadors came and added their various colonial architecture afterwards. I think I can allow myself a second to remove my mask because there's so much space here. It's absolutely huge. I mean, the only thing I can compare it to is Tiananmen Square in Beijing. I was planning to cover all of this area in a proper kind of vlog on my big camera. At the moment, I'm using my GoPro, as you probably noticed. And that's just because walking around the streets of Mexico City for the first time, I want it to be a little bit subtle. I don't really know what it's like here and I'm just sort of getting to grips with everything. So I will bring out my gimbal, microphone and uh, normal camera in the coming videos. But just for this first one, I thought it'd be easier just to pick this up and take it out and take some quick shots of my first impressions. And yeah, it's impressive and lots of families and people are about having fun. It is a Saturday today. Now heading away from Zocalo to try and hunt down some food to make this video a bit more exciting. I found this place which has some good ratings. It's called Los Cocuyos and the menu is right here and apparently they do some interesting stuff. Suadero is like beef brisket, tripe, but one of them, lengua, is tongue. And Ojo, I think is eye, ear, and one of them's brain as well. So there's a lot of interesting stuff on the menu here. And uh, it's really popular. So yeah, let's uh, try one of the more exciting items on this menu and see how it tastes. Una lengua y un ojo, por favor. Gracias. I've gone with a Coca-Cola because apparently Mexico actually drinks the most Coca-Cola of any country in the world. And I've also been told that Mexico's Coca-Cola is made with palm sugar as opposed to like a syrup sugar which you get in most parts of the world in Coca-Cola. So I've ordered two, if you understood my Spanish there. Lengua is tongue and ojo eye. So one tongue uh, and one eye with a coca-cola maybe some of the craziest stuff i've eaten before i've never tried either in any country so uh it's gonna be an interesting experience gracias so here you can see what well, look definitely is the tongue and this one is the eye now this stuff is pretty spicy so i have to be careful to... no problem i like spicy me gusta, me gusta. <laughs> So it's really spicy, so I should be careful with the amount I put on. And let's go for some of the red stuff as well. This at the end. And finish off with... Uh, I'm not sure what they're called. They're small limes. You don't really get them in Europe. They're really big on the food here in Mexico. And there we have it. Tongue and eye tacos with my coca-cola on the side of the street the guy working here kindly put some extra veggies to go with my tacos so i'll go with the tongue first i'm expecting it to be chewy it's surprisingly tender actually if you pretend it's another meat like lamb it's really appetizing in its texture but when you think about the fact that it's tongue it's a little bit uh off-putting 
but the salsa verde, the green sauce, is really good. Here we go now, maybe the most exciting one, which is the pie. Here goes. <laughs> so squidgy. If you can imagine biting into fat or raw meat, it's a little bit kind of what it's like. I don't want to upset the people here, I'm going to finish it. I think I prefer the tongue. The tongue was like very tender because I was expecting it to be really chewy, but it wasn't. Um, I think a little swig of coke will help me out here. I like the fact that nothing goes to waste here in Mexico. They're using all the leftover bits of the animal, which is uh, very economical and a good thing, I suppose. Have some of the vegetables to help with the flavor. And they're quite nice. It's like a charred flavor to them, these vegetables, but I'm not sure what they're called. Let me know in the comments below what these are. So just finished those tacos and uh, washing it down with the coke here, just sitting on the street. It's a really vibrant place. The one that is recommended to get is the suadero, which is the beef brisket. And um, it's really good from this particular place. Um, but I just wanted to try the interesting stuff, the stuff that I haven't ever tasted before in my life. and. Um, yeah, I think you'll find places like this all across Mexico and probably within Mexico City. Um, let me know your favorite taco place in the comments below. I'd be interested to hear. Cheers. Before ending this video, I thought I would finish it with something a bit sweeter than eye and tongue. And that's why I've come to a well-known place. I think they have many of these establishments across the city. Churreria El Moro. They do churros here in Mexico City and it was recommended to me as a really good place to try churros. got two churros here with a special chocolate dipping sauce. This place is 85 years old, 1935 established, open 24 hours, cheap prices um, for one churros. It is just eight pesos and originally opened by Spanish immigrants here in Mexico City, I believe. Anyway, let's uh, open the dipping sauce now and um, taste the famous churros here in Mexico City. Wow, look at that. It's so long as well. It's huge. It's like a rib. Here we go. Mm. It's very crunchy cooked perfectly or fried perfectly but then when you bite into the middle it's nice and soft clearly they're experts at what they're doing you can order like four of these or five there's a ton of hot chocolate and different kind of chocolatey drinks and coffees mixed with you know stuff mixed with espressos on the menu but I'm just keeping it simple what the place is famous for which is these it's really busy as well. Lots of people. All right. If it's busy and the locals are there, then you know it's a place that's worth visiting and trying the food in. Now back here in my room at Selena, Mexico City downtown, which is located in this kind of vintage building. And in the Centro Historico, as I mentioned, if you like the look of it, then you can use my code JasonB-MX to get 10% off all Selena properties 
and there's also hostel dorm rooms here as well. I'll show the room, do a tiny tour in a bit more detail in the next video. But from here, on my balcony where I started, the empty streets, the weekend evenings, I'm going to end it. So much more coming from Mexico City and Mexico overall. I cannot wait to explore. I already had a lot of fun just shooting this one and still a lot of things for me to get stuck into. So it's very nice to be out here vlogging again, making content, and I'm super excited. So hasta pronto. See you on the next one. Thank you.